Hey guys. Just gonna um, try and get my iPad going. Let's see if it's working. Get my comment in the store. Now, I just got um, some super sad news about a very old friend of mine from a company I used to work at and who passed away um, actually today from cancer, unfortunately. And I am going to donate any proceeds I make tonight from my sales um, to her daughter who is um, going to have a ton of stuff on her plate. So anybody who makes any um, purchases tonight, just please comment in this thread so that way I know. And that way I can um, make sure that she sees too because I know she's going to have so much going on. So let's, let's do, let's make some projects tonight. Okay. Um, so thank you for joining, and if you could, uh, bottom left hand side of your mobile device has a share button. So if you would share that, I would appreciate it. And then, like I said, uh, anything that I get from my, from any sales tonight, from anybody who purchases, uh, all those proceeds are going to be, uh, donated to her, to her daughter. So... Let's make some projects. Let's let's make some holiday projects now, okay? Um, we're gonna use mistletoe tonight, and we're gonna do three different projects with it. I'm gonna do it first on just a wood board. Um, I had gotten little Brandon's school picture, and I thought it would be super cute if I maybe put it on like a little plaque, and I could give it to um, grandparents. I just thought it would be fun for maybe like a little. Uh, like holiday gift so I'm gonna um, put the little mistletoe up here and I have a little picture here that I was thinking I would hang actually I'm not gonna put the mistletoe on there now that I think about it I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna put the picture here and I'm gonna put the saying here and I think that would be super cute um, so that's gonna be one project the next one I'm gonna attempt it on a a can koozie I'm probably saying it wrong cozy koozie whatever it's called um, and I'm going to attempt it on this tonight. I just thought, you know what, why not give it a whirl? Let's see what happens. Um, and then I'm going to come back and reuse the, the, the transfer. Um, hi, Janet, Andrea, Melissa, Carol, Sarah, Stephanie, Jess. Thanks for joining tonight. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Um, who needs mistletoe when you are this cute? I actually found from when I used to do a lot of um, HTV projects, I found a onesie that I had. Hi, Steph. Um, I had found a onesie, and I thought it would be super cute to put it on here and try it with some speedball screen printing ink. I had heard, hey, girl, how are you, Sarah? Um, I had heard that you can utilize this speedball screen printing ink with the transfer. So we're going to go ahead and make those projects tonight. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the first one. Now I'm going to go ahead and put back on the back of this um, because I have not touched it yet. And the reason we do back on the back of this carrier sheet is because the transfers are reusable over and over and over again. So we're going to go ahead and we want to make sure we mark the paper side because you can see hopefully that this is the gloss side and this for the is where the transfer would sit so we can remove it after we clean it and we put it back on the carrier sheet. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that now. Um, I mean, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, transfer down now. I'm so sorry. Um, I am not... Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. 
Helena? Am I saying your name right? Hel Helena? Um, I am not sure. It's it's absolutely... If it's water, like if the acrylic paint can come off with water, you probably can because as long as it's water soluble, you can use it with the transfer. A regular paint won't work because it'll clog the little silk screen, but you could definitely um, give that a whirl. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and just use our red and green chalk paste for this. Um, I'm going to use, I didn't mean to say green, I meant to say evergreen, which if you guys remember from October, that was a popular color last month. So I'm going to come in and I'm just going to stir it up and I can tell it's our new chalk paste because of the way it smells, it smells, it reminds me of baby. Um, <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and we're going to stir it up so it's like a yogurt-like consistency, okay? And that is beautiful. And we're going to do the same thing with our red. Once again, this I can also tell this is my new red just by the way it smells. And this is going to mix up. It's going to be a little bit thicker because it's closer to the bottom. But um, we're going to go ahead and do that. So, um, yes, water soluble. So, yep, you should be able to use it then. I would test only a little part of the transfer out before you put the whole thing on it, to be completely honest. Um, so, yeah, just try a little piece of a transfer out. And hi, hi, Andrea. So, let's go ahead and do this. So, I'm going to do mistletoe and cute and green and everything else is going to be red. And I'm going to use um, one of my small squeegees. You okay? You said you're using my school photo? Yeah, actually, can you give it? To, give me one so I can cut it and put it here? What are you using my school photo for? Um, the, and also, um, babe, can I have my scissors? Yeah, wait, oh, they're over on the desk. Can I have my scissors? Yeah, what do you use my school photo for? For the, for the project. Can I, can I have the scissors, babe? It's, they're on my desk um, in the living room there. They, they might be under stuff. They're on my desk. On my desk. And then over there. They might be under some things. Like move the papers that are there from when I did mailing. Sorry, guys. Just give me one second. You got it, girl. You see them? They're the small ones. Yeah. Oh, silly. Be careful. You could have cut yourself doing that. No, no, no. Oh, do you know how to do it? Yeah. Okay. Good job. Push it down. Yeah, it's, here, let me let me do it so you don't get cut, babe. I've done it before. Okay. There we go. Thanks, Bob. Okay. So let me just go ahead and just cut his little picture out so you guys can kind of get the idea. And I thought it would be cute if I, like, maybe just, maybe just kind of, actually, you know what? I'm not going to use the small size picture. I'm going to use the bigger one. But you guys get the picture. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, I'm gonna do, um, let's do the green first. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna do cute and mistletoe in the evergreen. And I definitely put way too much. Now, if you guys don't know about our chalk paste, if this is the first time you're watching, our chalk paste, we have, I believe, 41 colors now. They come in two ounce containers. Um, the excess, as you can see, I have you know a good amount on my squeegee here and I won't be using all of it. So the reason we use the squeegee so that way we can sweep the excess of what we don't use back into our container. Okay, so that's why you might think two ounces, oh, that's not a lot, but really two ounces goes a really long way, okay? So, I'm gonna come in and use the red. Now guys, also, if you did not hear me say it the other night in our live, in my live, if you get any of our new chalk paste, and you'll know it's new because it actually says new on it, um, that no longer needs, you no longer need to worry about waxing our any of our chalk couture boards when you use the new chalk paste you can also tell if it's new because of like i said it's got a very sweet smell um as i've said it it reminds me of baby like a baby smell very pleasant um that is also a way that you can tell that it's the new chalk paste 
and that's what you want to make sure if you're using that you no longer have to wax our magnetic boards which is pretty exciting and I'm, I'm gonna say it again for anybody who is just joining um, right before I, I was actually just getting ready to start my live and a very good friend messaged me um, who no matter what whenever we see each other it's like we we haven't stopped seeing each other um, messaged me and told me that another one of our very very good friends very dear friend just passed away this morning from cancer and um, any of my sales tonight are going to be donated the, the, the commissions that I would have made um, are going to be donated to her daughter who is probably going through so much right now um, and I just want to be able to help any way that I can um, so if you do purchase anything like I said I'm using mistletoe transfer and I'm using evergreen chalk paste and red chalk paste and a small squeegee um, anything will go every ounce of my uh, commission tonight is going to go to her just to help her out with uh, anything she may need because I can never imagine what she's going through so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean this off real quick because I need to have this dry and ready to go when I use the speedball ink for the, the onesie. Hi Linda, hi Heidi, hi Christy, hi Rachel, hi Christina, hi Mara. Okay, um, this is... This is just going to get cleaned right now. What you guys did not see me do, because I needed to do it quickly, was put this in some water and just take the excess off. And now I'm just using a Lysol wipe. You can use any disinfectant wipe. Lysol, Target brand, Walmart brand, Dollar Store brand, as long as it's a disinfectant wipe. And you just want to clean the front real good of any excess. And we definitely want to make sure we're cleaning the back really well, because when we go to put this on the shirt, we don't want it to pick up any dirt, okay? So I'm just gonna let this sit and dry. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the lids on my chalk paste. Okay, and um, if anybody wants to know what the little stars are that I'm using, hi, Christina, um, I'll post a link. Hi, Molly Ann, I will post a link. Um, when I am done the video, down below, and uh, that way you can get them as well. All right, let's get these lids on. Okay, guys, so now let's go ahead and work on the can koozie. Now I had so many of these. I used to make little. Um, can koozies for if you are a Disney vacation person and you've gone on any of the Disney cruises you I'm sure you've heard of fish extender gifts which are um, little gifts you make or little um, you can go into groups and instead of purchasing a bunch of um, I'm not cleaning them right now uh, instead of purchasing a bunch of gifts while you're on your vacation you can make gifts for the families so you join a group you find out how many families how many kids and whatnot you make gifts and you take turns on every night of the cruise and like every day um leaving little gifts so that way you don't feel like you have to buy a bazillion gifts when you're on vacation and come home with a bunch of stuff it's actually really fun but <coughs> long story short these um can koozies i used to put um little logos on and give them out everybody loved them and i had so many of these left over I was like, I'm going to try chalk paste on it. Um, or not chalk paste, rather. The speedball ink on it. So, let's go ahead and test it out. I have no idea if this is going to work. Um, I actually wonder if I do use the chalk paste, what would happen? It would probably have to be heat set, I'm sure, just like the speedball. Well, we're going to just try both. Let's see what happens. Um... We'll try one on each side. This is just a test. I just, 
I really enjoy finding out what I can and can't use this on. It's still a lot of fun to me. Hi, Samantha, to see what it's able to be used on and what it can't be used on. Now, I already used these, so I have back on them. So I'm trying to get this lined up so it's somewhat straight. Now, I've never used Speedball ink. It's, silk, it's screen printing ink. Hi, Debbie. Um, so I have no idea what to expect, how to do it. Um, it just says, for use on fabrics, cotton polyester blends, linen, rayon, synthetic fibers, paper, and cardboard, pre-wash and test samples prior to product run. Well, that's not going to happen. Um, wash fast when properly heat set, water-based, non-toxic. That's why you can use this, water-based. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attempt this. I'm going to put it on with the squeegee. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see if it runs. We're going to see what happens. I, I don't know what will happen. And I obviously did not clean the squeegee very good because I've got red chalk paste all over it. Okay, let's just give it a whirl, shall we? Kind of is the same consistency as chalk paste. Um, I'm hoping this stays stuck down. I'm literally just running it right over. Like I said, I have no idea what will happen. It seems like it's doing what our chalk paste does, but it seems a little more runny. So, I'm not too sure. Never ever worked with this stuff before. I do know I want to clean my transfer instantly though. Oh, look at that. Look at that, it worked. Huh, that's pretty cool. So if that worked, hopefully the Kiss Me works. Now I do only have it in one color, the um, the Speedball ink. I literally just bought the green. But look, where did you buy the ink? I will actually post a link for you down below, Andrea, as soon as we're done, um, as soon as this is over. But yeah, you see that? Hi Tiff. I don't I can't remember if I said hello to you. I apologize. I'm hoping I did. Um I'm just trying to quickly in my little vat of water, I just want to make sure I get the silk screen kind of cleaned really quickly. Because I, I, I don't want anything to happen to my transfers. I'm sure if we clean it quick, it should be just fine. So I'm not gonna wait like I normally do and just leave it sit. It does come right off, that's for sure. Um, just cleaning it off real quick. And now let's do the kiss me. I'm going to try and be careful with it because I know it's still wet. And ugh. let's see what happens if I just, let's just hit it with some heat. Give it a whirl. Got lighter. Oh, it's crazy. It's dry already. Wow. That was fast. I hope the same thing happens on the shirt. I can't wait to test that out. Um. And I am using. Oh, that's too close to the top. I am using the mistletoe transfer. It comes with a bunch of pieces. Is that still? Hopefully this does not bleed because it doesn't want to stick so well, I feel like. I'm trying to be very clean with it. Okay. Oh, look how nice that turned out. Kiss me. Let's just get that cleaned real quick. I'll hit it with this with some heat. Now look at the difference. And the color, guys. It's um, a very light, like a, a brighter green. And then when it dries, it turns darker. Hi, Eileen. Oh, yeah, look, how, look at it dry. Can you guys see that? As I hit it with the heat, look at it. How dark it turns. That's pretty cool. And it's dry already. That's really neat. 
I really like that. That's really cool, guys. So that's fun that we can do that. Hi, Eileen, how are you? All right, let me just, like I said, I want to get this clean. I don't want these sitting with it. It does seem to come off the transfer. <gasps> Oh, I got it on my sweater. Okay, that's all right. I don't want it to uh, sit on there for too long. And I don't think I did a bad job of letting it sit on there. I think it, oh, I think it did pretty well. That's really great. It's really cute. So, so far we have two projects done. So now for this next part, I wanna make sure my hands are super clean because I'm going to be touching a little um, a little uh, white onesie. I want to make sure I have all the red and the green off my fingers so that way it doesn't come off on there. Now, like I said, I'm sure you can imagine it with multiple colors. I only have the one color at the moment, the one sp speed ball, because I wasn't gonna purchase multiple if it wasn't gonna work. So, um, let's get this extra off. Okay, now let's clean anywhere that it could have dropped off. Okay, so let's see how this works, shall we? Now this is Definitely dry and definitely sticky again. I probably should have ironed this first, but this is just demonstration purposes. Um, hey, bub, bub. Thank you, pal. Okay, I'm just going to try and get this right in the center. Okay. That looks pretty straight to me. Hi, Amy. Hi, Susan. Hi, Jackie. Wow, we have a lot of people in here tonight. Okay, so. Mm, is it straight? Oh, it looks. Well, you know what? I think it is. I think it's just the way the tag is. Okay, so this seems to be on pretty well. Let's just go for it. Okay, guys? I'm just going to use the speedball ink. I'm going to use my squeegee, and I'm just going to put the color on and pull. And I need to be very careful because I just wiped it all over my fingers. Like a goofball. It's definitely absorbing it right into the shirt. I can see it. And I'm trying to be super careful because I, I don't know what will happen if I go off of the transfer. So... Um, I'm just going to be very, very, very careful with this. I'm going to do the same thing I usually do. <gasps> I usually, the same thing I usually do, which is wipe my excess off, get my lines cleared up. And hopefully I covered everything. All right, let's see if this worked. Hold on. Before I do that, let me make sure I get it off my finger. So, let's give it a whirl, shall we? Ooh, hold on. Oh. Trying to hold gently so the color doesn't bleed. Oh my goodness, that just might be the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. How adorable. Put something between the front and back. Yes, I didn't do that, Debbie. <laughs> um, speedboat bleeds through. Hi there, put something in between front and back. Ooh, I didn't. I did not do that. I missed the comments. So you know what? Mm, thank goodness I have other ones. And this is just... Oh, guys, guess what? It didn't bleed. It didn't bleed at all. Hold on, let me just take some heat to it. Um, I don't wanna do that to be the heat. Let me just put a paper towel maybe in between it. This is adorable. This is absolutely adorable. There we 
to go. Okay, let's just hit it with some heat. And I would imagine that chalk paste would, Amy, if you do, if you can totally, if you mix it with fabric medium, it shouldn't. Um, I didn't mix with anything. I literally just used these. I just used the speed ball um, on this. It didn't bleed through, guys. Can you see? I don't know if it's completely dry, so. Seems to be dry. Just do it a little longer. Yeah, look, it didn't bleed. Can you guys see that? It didn't go through, which is pretty cute. Um, so this says if you heat set it, it will, you can then wash quickly is what the speedball instructions say. So, um, I know it's adorable, isn't it, Steph? It really is, thanks, Debbie. That's awesome, used to doing shirts and acrylic and always get bleed. Do you need to iron to set, yay. Um, usually, I know with HTV, I do the iron to heat set it and whatnot, and obviously to get it on. I just use my heat tool. I have no idea, I mean, I, I'm not sure I think heat set does mean to use the iron with it, but I don't see why the heat tool won't work because I was able to do it in a small area, but I think this turned out super cute, guys. Super stinking cute at that. Right? Who needs mistletoe when you are this cute? Kiss me. And then again, the who needs mistletoe when you are this cute, and just keep in mind it's going to be a bigger picture. Um, it'll be like a four by five size of little brand, but I thought it would be a fun um, gift to give to the grandparents um, for the holidays. Hi, Lori. Hi, Tracy. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate that. So um, let's just go ahead. I just forgot. Hold on one, one more second, guys, and then I can recap kind of uh, what I had said earlier for those new people watching. Um, I just want to get this transfer washed off, um, really quickly. Okay. Oh, that's a really good idea, Andrea. Photo transfer. I actually have one of those kits from like forever ago where you could put it on there and it can come off. I probably, I actually should do that. I should give it a whirl and see how that works. Okay. So tonight, the items I used were the mistletoe transfer, evergreen chalk paste, red chalk paste, and a small squeegee. Um, if anybody goes into my online store tonight and purchases anything, I don't care what you purchase, anything at all, my entire commission that I earned tonight is going to go to uh, an old friend who passed away today um, to her daughter to help her take care of things. Uh, she battled cancer for many years. It went away, came back, it went away, came back. And now she is no longer suffering. But then you have family who does suffer because of it. And I literally found out right before I got on my live. I was all set, ready to go. And an old friend had messaged me and told me, just wasn't sure if you had heard, but she passed away today. So, Karen was always very good to me. She was like a mom to me, a work mom will say. She would probably be so mad at me if, I said, <laughs> if she heard me say that. But she was like my work mom. And um, I think her, I think it would be nice to do this, to, to give something to help her daughter settle everything. Because, you know... Her, Karen's husband had passed away um, quite a few years ago, so now she, you know, doesn't have her mom or her dad, so this has got to be super tough on her. So anything 
anything that gets purchased, well, my proceeds will go right to her, my uh, commissions. So just so you know. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Linda. Um, here you go, Sue. There's the can cozy koozie, however you say it. <laughs> it's up close. It's all dry. I just, I, I noticed that the color definitely got darker when I hit it with the heat. The funny thing is, is I don't think it got much darker on the onesie. It is adorable. So, um, these are the different things you can do with our awesome transfers. So, here you go. Three different projects, two chalk pastes, some speedball ink, and a small squeegee, and you're done. Super quick, super easy. Three projects, and I'm on here with you guys for what? Maybe 20 minutes? Uh, th oh, okay, or 30 minutes. Obviously, I lose track of time. <laughs> but, um... I thank you all for watching. Um, my store will that wash out? I don't know, Tracy. To be honest with you, I, I did apply heat to it. I don't know if I need to um, hit it with the iron, like maybe put it, put something over it, and then iron it. I'm really not sure. I just was curious to see if it would actually work on our, if it would work on clothes, and it, it does. It's pretty, pretty cool. Hi, Lori. Um, yeah, I, I think, yeah, definitely try the onesie out, Andrea. I think you'll love it. Um, maybe just be super careful when you pull up. I noticed where I pulled a little rough. Like, it, it's got a little bit little bit of pulls um, from the transfer. But, um, yeah, this, this, um, this transfer is awesome. This is the mistletoe transfer and there was still other pieces I didn't even use with this and let me show you them let's see so we have the larger mistletoe which I actually made a project with the other night um, and then we have one that says meet we have words that say meet me under the mistletoe and I actually used this on the whole project the other night um, and then there is holiday hugs and mistletoe kisses I was seriously considering putting that um, like if I went with a smaller picture which in my head I said nah I thought maybe it would be cute to do that holiday hugs and mistletoe kisses um, but I uh, decided against that and I just said, you know what, I'm going to put the 4x5 size picture on there. I think that would be super cute. So there's um, a bunch of different, there's two different size um, mistletoes. There's quite a few sayings. I also did this with this transfer. For those of you who are in my VIP group, you saw how I made this floating ornament and I put the kiss me on it with the mistletoe on the inside. And yes, Someone did point out, and I had no idea. Obviously, I don't pay attention to mistletoe. When I, when I want to kiss my husband, I kiss him. <laughs> um, which is pretty funny because, you know, I'm making this like, oh, mistletoe and the berries. I am a goofball. So thank you, Loetta. Um, I had no idea that mistletoe berries were white. So going forward, anytime I do the mistletoe, with the exception of my speedballing, because I only had green, I will do my berries in white. I had no idea. Awesome, Andrea. I love that. You'll love it. You have to get Nantucket. If you didn't get that yet, you need that color. Look how beautiful it is. The Nantucket is awesome. Um, such a pretty, such a pretty color. I used it with the, our Gather Grateful the other night. I just love how it turned out. Um, but that is the story on our mistletoe transfer, guys. So thanks so much for watching. I truly hope you have a great night, um, and I will hopefully um, come on tomorrow. Uh, my plan is to redo my front door, take off those spider webs, and get some fall leaves on there uh, until it's time for Christmas. So thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you later. Bye.